Hello and welcome to just a quick update video. So uh, first of all, uh, there have been some changes to the uh, change log as people have been noticing things that are missing and they've been added in. So I've just compared the old change log to the new one and we're just gonna go over the different changes, the things that have been added since. So first off, uh, stability rework. We've already heard all about the stability rework. Um, it's now incremental. It's no longer a click a button get stability. Uh, increasing the stability is no longer instant, etc. Yep, we know that. Uh, population capacity now dictates how many pops can live in each city. Population capacity is primarily increased by things like climate rivers ports, but it's also possible to increase through building granaries in a city. Uh, city overcapacity will get penalties from overpopulation, but no city will grow over its cap naturally. Lovely. So moving down, we now have monarchies now have access to a novice unit ability, which lets the ruler boost province loyalty in a province capital where he or she is present. Lovely. Uh, moving on further, we have friends of the ruler in a monarchy will now have a strong preference for the primary heir. Uh, a family married to the ruler or heir in a monarchy will have a strong preference for the primary heir. And characters preferring other heirs now have less of an impact on legitimacy, which is super super useful considering you could end up in a legitimacy spiral where it was just very very difficult to pull yourself out of it very difficult indeed um here we have disloyal employed characters can no longer be dismissed or imprisoned that was a bit of an exploit that's been fixed chariots are now more effective uh, efficient sorry against archers and light infantry so basically just a straight up buff for chariots make them less shit basically uh, then we have moving on. God, I bet this looks terrible on YouTube. I think that's no, that's not it. Seleucids can now found Antioch, and not only Seleucia Perea. Uh, this is in uh, Syria, and now Antioch is another one that they can found. Forming a nation now grants between two and five free province improvements based on the size difficulty of the formable. Characters are now less likely to suffer lunacy. Um, Horses are more prevalent in southern Italy and Greece, while reducing their numbers slightly in Western Europe and Britain. Atmospheric fog has been tweaked to be less opaque and adapt more with zoom level and camera tilt. Beautiful. Uh, usually you would use, I think it's a Gamma Days mod uh, to fix this, but that's seemingly no longer necessary. And I believe that's it. I can't remember. Oh, no, the last one. Fixed a bug which made media unable to form. Okay, perfect. Just some extra stuff added into the change log. So I thought I'd just go over those. Uh, so they're, you know, I have a video about the new changes, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, but that's not it. That is not the main point of this video. So uh, let me switch to this screen. Uh, if you are going to Imperator Rome and then you right click it and you move to properties and then you move to betas, you have the Pompey Patch Beta, which you can opt into, and you can enjoy all of these changes right now. So go and play it, because personally, I think it's a massive improvement to the game. And until September, when an even bigger improvement to the game happens, this is great. So... Stop watching me and go, and go try out the new changes, because that's literally what I'm about to go and do right now. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have found this informative. Uh, if you didn't know about 1.1 um, being out now, um, you're welcome, and go play it, and let me know what you think. So, bye!